Hello my lovelies, <laughs> welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would do my coat collection. Coats and bags are my thing. I think they're the final parts to any outfit. Um, you can make so many different outfits with, diff with different coats and bags. So you could actually have a very plain outfit and like I'm going to be wearing black and black and put a coat on and then put a different coat on and have a complete different look. Um, I did sell lots of my coats and I still keep buying them because I just think they're a really key piece and I think that it, especially if you could get some timeless ones that cost a little bit more. Some of mine are really cheap but some of them I'm trying to build up a collection of a little bit more so they'll last for 30 years I'm, I'm hoping and I do often buy them unless they're fitted I try and buy them a size bigger sometimes two sizes bigger it depends if you want to get a jumper under it um, you know and um, yeah what the material of the coat is because they can be different sizes um, so buying coats makes my soul happy <laughs> I remember going on the school run um, quite a lot when the boys were little and I'd often wear a onesie that looked a bit like a tracksuit bottom on the bottom and I'd put my coat on well, I had probably three onesies in different colours put the coat on <laughs> and then go on the school run so the hood showed so it looked like you had a hoodie on tracky bottoms nobody knew that I had a onesie on with my coat done up obviously not all coats look nice done up but I just think a coat, yeah, is functional, keeps you warm, and I do have one, which I'll show you, which is my exercise class, my um, going for walks. If I had a dog, I'd take this coat, but it's still quite stylish, and I just think that the, the way it's cinched in in the belt makes me warm, warmer than any coat I've ever worn. Sometimes they're just an awkward length, and you see people that are just in it to keep warm. <laughs> I just like it to look quite nice. Um, I don't know, uh, yeah, you just, I think it also changes the look a coat. So if you've got tracky bottoms and trainers and you've got a fluffy coat, it can, even though you're really casual, it can just make you look like you've tried and it kind of adds to it. I don't know, especially it's light, a really nice light colour furry coat with light on a sunny day, like tracky bombs. Anyway, what I'll probably do is go get some shoes on, as I wanted to keep all black, black shoes, and just put each coat and talk through the pockets, where you can get similar ones, how you can change the look of a coat with a different belt, different scarves. I probably rambled too much now, so is there any rubbish in the background? There isn't, but there is a cat, but I don't think you can see him. <laughs> Let's have a look. There you are. <laughs> you always have to get, you've got your furry coat on, haven't you? You don't need to change your furry coat and it doesn't cost you any money, does it? Yeah, you get it all dirty all the time though, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that was a nice close-up of my chin. I haven't done my hair. So, because we're having because it's locked down. We're having hot tub Fridays again without Joseph. Anyway, I'm gonna switch off and go and get ready and get the coats. Coat number one. See what I mean? A really lovely warm puffer. Exercise, walking, country walks. But it's got a belt to cinch you in. So I just think it gives you a bit of um, what's the word? You can put your scarf, I think your scarf can give it a completely different colour. Obviously if you take the scarf off, you can see it's a beautiful coat. It's caramelin. It's years old, but it probably was about £300 at the time. And I think I've had it, goodness knows, um, 11 years. So warm, I wash it every year and wear it every year. 
really got another 10 years in it. So yeah, that's, it still looks stylish as well if you wanted to go out. I think it's a bit hot for the underground and things like that, but outside definitely a stylish dog walking coat. That's number one. Well, number two isn't any everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> it's definitely my cup of tea. The Candy Stripe. It's by J Jake. There's the label. Free from fur. This is some um, range actually from ASOS, but they have their own website. It's very thick. I just think so different on a city break. You can you know, do it all up, and nobody knows what you've got on, and you just stand out. But <laughs> someone, everyone always has to have the mad one and this is my mad one haven't worn it yet this year <laughs> I am a candy stripe I am a candy stripe <laughs> but obviously I think this would be nice with a clinched belt in as well if you could find a really nice creamy one break it out with a black scarf anyway this probably isn't my must haves at all but I just had to show it because it is <laughs> it's really different Anyway, that's number two. The Reese Long Sophisticated, don't know if it's wool, button up coat, like a trench, thicker. It was Reese last year, but they probably do lots like this. Lovely black scarf or white scarf. It's just on me, perfect length, but probably meant to be up here. But then again, this one, you could do up, and I've got really gorgeous belt that I could tie around there and then you've got a completely different look. I'll um, know if I get time to put that on with it. But yeah, you, I mean I wear this open all the time. Um, but obviously yeah, cold. Big, big chunky scarf. It's just a very stylish, everyone should have a long. And is it dog tooth or hound's tooth? Obviously I'd love the Holland Cooper hound's tooth one but <laughs> can't do that can't have everything but yeah I got this last year and I still wear it all the time so that another really lovely coat there we go number four Holland Cooper this is actually a Bista Village oh I haven't even undone the pocket a Bista Village buy probably goodness 18 months ago a year, a year ago no, yeah I don't know it's wool, because all their coats are wool. It's probably not as heavy, it's probably a bit of a blazer style coat, but I just love, love Holland Cooper. I love their buttons, the trademark buttons. Obviously it's only got the two, so it's not double breasted. I mean, if I didn't have this great big belt on, I could do it up. But I think mm, autumn to winter, a nice winter day, a bit warmer, perfect. Leg, leg actions. <laughs> that's the one. Yes, that sort of length on me. Short on tall people, obviously. Probably there. <laughs> but I like them to my knee. So that's number four. Number five. Oh, this is so snuggly. This is my originally bought for Christmas. It's a lovely deep red coat, but it's so thick. I think it was ASOS, but I think I got it in tall because it didn't have short left or meat or petite or normal so it's really long but I wanted that I think it's oh so snuggly everyone needs a real snuggly snuggly coat see it would be perfect to walk around where we live in this but obviously the, the walking the puffer one would be better if it was raining or this one's just a bit more oh like walks by a river in Marlow or something. Pockets are up here, which is a bit of a, I'm not, I think sometimes it's more, you put your hands in sideways into a pocket, but I don't usually put my hands in my coat pockets. So I usually wear gloves anyway, so you can at least know none of your stuff falls out of these ones. You can fit a phone in there. Definitely, Ooh, do the pose, do the pose. <laughs> I love this one, look at the color. Oh, so soft. So that's red, but I have got another red one. Here we go. Number six, of course. My favourite, favourite, favourite 
coat of the year, probably coat of my decade, although it's only 2020, it's the beginning <laughs> of a decade, but isn't that just stunning? It's wool, it's probably like the, the beige one, but it feels warmer, I don't know why, but it's got the double breasted and all the buttons, oh, it's just beautiful. I really wanted the long one, but I'm too short for the long one. So at least it saves me lots of money if I aim for the short ones, unless I think you can get petite. You can get petite made, but you have to wait. Oh, I'm to make it, but I don't know what length that comes up, so it's better to be safe, isn't it? You, oh my God. I actually put my Burberry scarf with it. I know it's a bit of a overload logo pattern, but it really looked nice because it had the red, but nice if you had some nice beige colour bottoms, but yeah, I think everyone needs a Holland Cooper coat in their <laughs> cupboard. It's lovely if you're wearing a dress or as well because it's quite smart, but goes good with jeans too. Number seven. This is the one I bought quite recent from Zara. It's um, a fake, well it's not even fake leather, it's like a fake suede, but looks leather. It's got a leather belt, really nice thick lining for, I think it was £99. I think it's perfect, I mean you could do that right up, but I like the oversized, oversized jeans, even with trainers. I'm not gonna put all the different clothes on underneath, but this looks lovely over trainers. Um, tracky bottoms, it's sort of everything, but probably not so smart. Although even a knitted dress, I think, just, it's got such a big collar, and it's actually got trim in leather, yeah, I mean it's probably not, it's not real leather. But I think Zara do these every year, I think H&M do some. I think H&M had a real leather one, but I'm not sure what the quality was, because I think it was about £100, so this isn't real. Says, I don't know, you can never really judge it for those two shops. And ASOS do some as well, so it's worth looking around. Obviously, one day, maybe get one that's, I don't know, from my trees or Netto Porte or something to keep. But it depends on how often you'd wear this style of coat, what sort of life, I suppose, you, you have. I just like the vers versatility of different coats. Number seven. Number eight. Had to put in the trench. It's obviously not a very warm coat. It's, um, you can get them everywhere, these. It's not lined. But if you're wearing thermals and a hoodie, or you want to go shopping in the shopping centre where you don't want a thick coat, um, I just think, I don't know, look, it, it just looks, it's, it's a nice, you can tie the belt up or you can tie it up. I don't know, it just complements everything even goes with this. Um, but yeah, you'd need layers and layers and layers. But obviously, yeah, if you're shopping, I've got no sleeves. If you were shopping Westfield or Westgate or so, or I'm talking about where we live, but in an indoor shopping centre, you could just fling this on. You've got some pockets. Just a bit more stylish than just having some, I don't know. I can't even, it's a, a bit more than a cardigan, so you just look a little bit more dressed, but you're not too hot. But I still class it as a coat, but it's it's a trench. It's like a Mac coat, but still all right for this time of the year on a warmer day. Yeah, I like that. Goes nice with these boots and this style, but goes good with trainers. I think my caramel trainers look lovely with this. There we go, that's number eight. Number nine. Camel coloured long coat. I think this is a coat that um, I think all my vloggers all have in a version of this. It's just the most, I don't know, versatile coat. It's this, this one's not lined, you can get lined. This was the original Holland Cooper one I wanted in lined, but I think it's still too long for me. And this being a perfect length, this was mango. Um, but with the belt done up it looks nice or with the belt tied behind again it's not as thick but it's thicker than the trench um, but yeah I think somewhere like shops without an indoor you just don't want to get all sweaty I wore this in London 
you just don't want to get all sweaty and horrible and it's just I think that's can't really see it very well I'm trying my hardest with the lighting yeah just brings up it goes really nice with blue jeans as well blue jeans and trainers I've seen that a lot so I think that's I'm just not gonna try all different clothes on so I can't be doing with all that but no so there's that number nine number nine that's a nice one number ten another teddy a furry teddy coat fur full fur it's not teddy is it but always oh, my pocket there sideways pockets which means you can drop things out of them but I think that's cute a very autumnal color goes nice with my flowers look blend in <laughs> goes nice with the belt too in fact I think I've probably worn this out like this but this is nice and warm but it's not obviously as thick and heavy as the red one but it's just a neutral color I've realised I've hardly got any black in here. I've got a black blazer. What have I got black? Hmm. I think because I like wearing black underneath a lot, I go with colours. But this is soft. It's a nice colour. You definitely need one teddy faux fur coat. I just think evenings out as well, it looks cool. And this one wasn't very expensive. So I think if you want, where's the label? I don't know. If you want to leave it lying around, it's not going to damage it, but obviously you could get much more upmarket ones. But I'm building. I'm building slowly. <laughs> Don't tell Bruno. I'm building them. But I have sold loads, so <laughs> I've been able to buy a couple of much more expensive ones because I've been selling some. But give me 20 years <laughs> and we'll be back with another video and really gorgeous coats. Nah, these are all nice. I like them all. So that's number 10. Number 11, the dressing gown coat. <laughs> it literally is a dressing gown. Lovely. Oh, with my hair down. I think my hair looks a bit naff because I haven't done it today. But, ooh, ooh. God, you need to feel this. ASOS. I think I'd probably tie the belt back. A very neutral, neutral shade. Love that. Oh, just be wearing black for the next three months. <laughs> Maybe you could wear short skirt, short leather skirt, thick tights. Oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> so that's number eleven. I think I've got one more, one more, and then I think that's it. We won't do jackets. It's two cold for jackets. Classic example number twelve of a coat that's a bit big. Put a belt, cinch it in. This coat is a lovely colour. It's actually got <laughs> good. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And warm. It's a sage colour. And the belt doesn't go because the belt's blue, but it was just to show you. I look like um, hmm, Miss Piggy, an egghead again. Egghead, always an egghead. <laughs> Let's take it down. That that keeps your neck warm as well. But I'll take this off, and then um, oh, have a look. Oh, it's a nice walking around the town coat again, isn't it? It's got quilting on the back. Oh, it's a bit of a sage green, but what's the word? Moddy. <laughs> Is it mods that used to wear green? I always wanted to be a mod, and I always wanted one of those mod jackets. But I was never allowed. Oh, well, that's all 12. There's not one black long coat, I sold that. I don't know why, I just don't seem to wear black. I've got lots of wraps. Obviously, I think a wrap is brilliant if you've got one of those jumpers, back wing jumpers that are all in fashion, back wing dresses. Um, although this is so big, you can probably easily get one of them in this. But I like wraps for that. I really like to get the Holland Cooper big poncho wrap thing so that you could be warm and not have your arms in but 
this isn't really that sort of video, it was just a coat video. But, nice. Number 12. All 12, done. Hope you enjoyed it. Now I'm going to go and sort this hair out. It's not very attractive. <laughs> and maybe sit down today. I haven't. So, coffee time and a sit down. Hope you enjoyed this coat haul and got some ideas or just some viewing time to pass the time. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.